Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video this morning, this afternoon, this evening, today. Um, I know that I missed the week, guys. Yeah, it's been life, it's been busy. Um, and honestly, we weren't even gonna vi film a video for this week, but I was like, you know what, no consistency, trying to remain consistent. Now, I will say that in the next couple of months, um, it's the holiday season. I know a lot of different creatives are doing Vlogmas, um, are doing their, oh, I forgot what the one is for October, but uh, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, we are approaching one year. Um, to the anniversary of my miscarriage. And so we're probably gonna be doing a lot of time away for ourselves. Um, but um, I promise you, if there's content, I will definitely vlog it. Um, but let me just stop real quick. If you've come back or if you're new, right, please like, subscribe and share. Please just share, share, share guys. And I do want to shout out a few young men from my church. They know who they are. That's been watching the videos lately. Um, they're under the assumption that the page should be named LA Craig Living Life. <laughs> um, but uh, we're not doing that yet. Craig wants to do his own thing. And I'm gonna give him the autonomy and the freedom to be able to establish himself when he's ready. However, like, subscribe, and share. Now, today, we're just gonna be talking a little bit. We're gonna be talking a little bit. Um, as I just said, we are approaching a year anniversary since my miscarriage, and I don't want this to be a somber video, but I just wanna to talk to you guys about, you know, the feelings that I'm having. It's also approaching eight months since my surgery. So just chatting with you guys a little bit. It's gonna be real random. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I promise you it won't be too long. But as we're chatting, and you guys see I have on the magic gloves, um, because we're gonna be doing something. Christmas is coming up. I know I'm rushing ahead, because you're probably gonna see this vlog prior to um, Halloween, right? But um, I'm, I'm on Christmas already, guys, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to those who like Halloween. I don't, <laughs> the blood of Jesus. Um, so for me, I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for Christmas. And this year I wanted Christmas to kind of match the theme of our home. You guys see that we have a lot of muted colors, um, neutral colors. And I did tell Craig that I wanted to do that. I wanted to play on the neutral tones. And so I got some ideas from YouTube and Pinterest. And I'm gonna try something guys. This might come out really bad or it might come out really good. But I'm just gonna paint as we talk. And I also have my tea, so I'm gonna sip my tea while we talk. Yum. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be the idea for today. So I got these clear bulbs. It was four in a pack for about six bucks from Hobby Lobby. They currently have a 50% off sale. So if you know, you know, go pick up your, light, your, your bulbs and your lights and everything you need. Um, they don't have, do they have lights? They probably do. Uh, but think of everything that you need. Um, this is not sponsored, so I'm gonna hop off of that real quick. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna paint this bulb. I am gonna eventually spray paint the tops of the bulbs, but I don't have any paint to match and I don't, I don't wanna use craft paint. So you guys won't see that, but at least you guys will get to see what I start with this bulb here. So I got a couple of craft paints from Hobby Lobby. So I got this metallic bronze. Metallic bronze. I'm actually gonna put this on last to kind of give it a nice shiny finish. But I do wanna mix these two. So we have a, it's kind of like a, I don't even know what colors are. I just picked them up because they look good. One is matte, one is a gel color. So as I'm looking at this one, this one is translucent. So I probably start with this one right here. It's called Yellow Okri. And then I will blend in Tree Trunk, which is this brown one right here. 
So you see, I'm really trying to do real neutral fall colors um, for Christmas. And I also have this paint that I picked up from Home Depot a long time ago. This is called their Perfect Grage. It's the most beautiful beige color. And we have it around the house. This was a sample. And I'm gonna actually mix the sample with the craft paint. I don't know, I'm not a professional painter, guys. So, but I feel like it might work. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me pour these out. Just gonna pour a little bit. This one was already open. So I'm just gonna squeeze out. Ooh, there you go. Squeeze out a little bit. That's not a little bit, that's more like a lot. Don't judge me. More like a lot. Then I'm also gonna do this one here. Mm, let me just open it up. Ugh. This one's a gel paint. The texture is definitely different. I'll do that one last. You pro guys probably won't see me get to do that one. Um, but what we'll do is once it dries, we'll have a picture. A picture for you all. All right, I'm actually gonna start with the tiny brushes. I don't know, now, now I don't know. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna start with the bristle brush and see how that goes on. And then I will go to the tiny brushes. And I'm wearing gloves because this is gonna get dirty. My intent is to keep this upside down so that I could dry that way. But you guys know sometimes things just don't go the way you want to. So just in case, let me pull these off to the side. All right, y'all, so let's talk about it. November 6, 2022, if you're new to this channel, uh, one of the main reasons why I started this channel was because um, in November of 2022, November 6 specifically, I miscarried. I miscarried the first child that I was ever, God bless me to carry. Um, her name is Isla, Isla Sarai Alexandra Freeman. Um, yes, we named her seven days prior to the miscarriage. Because <laughs> seven days prior to the miscarriage is when we found out um, whether it was gonna be a boy or a girl. Um, long story short, I was feeling some pains in my womb, um, went to the doctor, went to the ER, and went to my doctor. They said, hey, you know, everything looks fine. They couldn't tell what was going on. Um, the only thing that both were able to tell me is that I had um, fibroids. But to their knowledge, the fibroids should not have been impacting the baby. On November 6th, or what, it was like November 2nd to the 4th, I was on a cruise, was spotting, called my doctor. She said, if it continues, go to the infirmary on a cruise. Long story short, the night before, the night before we were gonna be coming home, uh, the spotting turned into a lot of bleeding. I started to hem hemorrhage, is that what they call it? Yeah because the, the blood started to turn into like a jelly type substance. And once that happen, happens, that's when they become concerned. And so that happened November 6th officially, I had to give birth to my child. Yes, I had to push her out. I had to push her out. I had a, a DNC, which is when they go in because I couldn't pass the placenta. So they had to go in and make sure that everything was out. They dressed up our baby girl, they showed her to us, and that was it. That was it, we got her footprint, we got the clothes that she wore. And if you guys have been watching this channel all year, you know that um, on her original birthday, Craig and I went out to the ocean and we, put petals in the ocean, pink petals in the ocean for her. This is very soothing for me guys, painting. So I hope you guys think it's soothing too. And I love this color. 
I just mix some of that yellow with the gray that gives this nice, <laughs> that's Craig in the background, y'all. And it gives this nice, I don't even know what kind of color this is. It's, it's just pretty, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I don't mind the yellow streaks. I like that look. I've been seeing a lot of, this is therapeutic for me. So if you see me go on a tangent about the painting, <laughs> because I'm doing both. Um, right now, the rustic brush look, rugged look is what, what's in. Um, so I don't mind that. All right, so let's get back to it. I don't know, where did this come from? I had some black paint on here, it looks like it got. So yeah, so I, on March 14th, I had surgery to remove the fibroids. So it's just been, a, it's been a year, guys. It's really been a year. It's been a year filled with recovery. It's fill, been a year filled with a lot of questions. But I have to tell you guys, God has been so faithful to us. Very faithful to us. Um, when the questions came, he had an answer. And when he didn't have an answer, he gave us his peace. Um, one of the things that Craig and I said is that throughout this whole situation, we didn't want it to pull us apart. We wanted it to bring us together. And it truly has. And I would say it's because we've been intentional. Has it all been easy? Oh, no. <laughs> but marriage isn't easy for those people that are married. But we've been very intentional. Um... We're just trying our best to communicate better. Um, but yeah, it's been rough for both of us. I, I would say that, have we fully healed? I'd say we're about 90% there, right? But there's still always that 10% where you feel like something's missing. And listen, I've always been a person that loves to see people with their children. I love to see people embracing their kids. But it's the hardest thing, especially when I see someone with a newborn or a toddler, an infant. Um, this year has been hard because I'm always like, wow, Isla would have been about that age. Um, as a matter of fact, she would have been April, May, June, July, August, September, October. She would have been six months. She would have been six months. So that, that's hard, you know? This is just my little handheld hand held fan. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to speed up the process a little bit so that I can add the brown onto it. Look at that, I already like that. I like that color. I actually picked up some, some other ornaments that are this color, so this works perfect. Yeah, so just been a year of healing physically, mentally. I think I told you guys that at one point, you know, I was having the tachycardia right after my um, miscarriage. Tachycardia, for those of you that may not know, is just when your heart races really fast. And I still experience it sometimes. Um, I just have to continue to remind myself that, you know what, nothing's wrong with me. And we've been going to the gym as of lately and that's been really good to help me with with those symptoms that i might experience but yeah yeah i don't know i i don't i don't really think i could sum up this year and i, I often ask god you know why did we experience such a year but I know that there's certain questions that we will never know on this side of heaven. Um, there's certain, some things that he will answer, you know, when we see him face to face. So I just continue to rest on his hope, rest on his strength. And I try not to overthink or overanalyze situations. Um, but we've been throwing a lot of curveballs this year. And so, you know, just asking you guys to continue to pray for us as we pray for you. Um, but just continue to pray for us. You know, um, now that it is eight months post 
my fibroid surgery, we are going to try again. Um, we are going to try again. And that is, I don't know. I think for a lot of people, they would think that that thought would be scary. It's not scary for me. However, I don't know how I'll respond to aches and pains, right? So, you know, God's willing that I do get to carry again. I think that's what I'm apprehensive about. Like, how will I re respond to if I feel an ache here or a pain there? You know, how will I respond if the doctor gives me some, some negative news, right? Nothing dire, but just negative. Um, how will I respond? I think that becomes one of my primary concerns. Um, just bracing myself, preparing myself for that season when it comes again. Because we do want it to come again. We do want it to come again. I'm not sure how I will respond. My hope is that I don't try to lean on my own understanding. I'm going to give y'all a lot of Bible today, okay? The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. That's not the scripture I was looking for. <laughs> Trust in the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind, and lean not to your own understanding. That's the scripture. Maybe I needed the other one, too. Um, that's the scripture right there. And so my hope is that I don't try to lean to my own understanding. I understand that God has the final say. Um, yeah. That's what I would hope. That's what I would hope. Oh, how's Craig? Is that what you guys asked? How's Craig? I don't know. I think he's okay. How are you, Craig? I'm cool. I'm good. Thank you. As you said, 90%. He said he's cool. He's good. 90%. 90%. 90%. And I think, too, we've had such a busy year. Like, we got back into everything that we're a part of and we hit the ground running. For me, it was harder than it was for Craig. Uh, I still tell people to this day, I'm 50% in. Um, yeah, I'm 50% in. Like I, I, Kudos to you, all right? You out there who you've gone through a really challenging time in your life and you came back and you hit the ground running. Kudos to you. Um, for me, it was just a little bit harder. It was just a little bit harder to just act normal. Act like there isn't something missing from my life, you know? Mind you, I know, I know the word. I know, I know scripture and God is always with me. But if you lost $100, as a matter of fact, let me make it bigger. If you lost $1,000, right? Something that, no, not even 1000 if you lost a million dollars, right? Something you consider to be so valuable. Something that you know that is difficult to live without, right? It would be hard to recover. And that's what we lost. We lost our child, you know? Um, something that I don't want to live without. And uh, yeah. So it wasn't, it's, it's not easy for me to just pick up and move on and do things as normal. It was a little bit harder. It was a little bit harder to get out of bed. It was a little bit harder. Um, however, I just had to hold on even more to my foundation in Christ. I had to hold on a little bit more my, to my foundation in Christ. All right, guys. So this is... This actually did a pretty good job drying. So I'm now going to take one of this. I don't know how this one's going to work. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to go back to the other one. One of the things that some people do is they use, um, what is that called? Baking soda to kind of give more of a texture. I forgot about that, you guys. So I didn't do that. But this is all I really want to do. Kind of just create that. You see how it says it's translucent? So it's not going to give you the full color. I just want to do little strokes. Strokes. Strokes throughout the ball. Just 
We'll do some little strokes. You guys can tell me, which do you prefer? Should I do all of them like this? Or should I leave them like that? You tell me. Mind you, it's not finished yet, right? I still want to put on that bronzer. But you guys can tell me in the comments because by the time you see this, I'm only I'm only doing this one tonight. I'm not doing all these. I'm only doing this one tonight. I'll take your feedback. You can tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. This would have been really, really nice if I did put the baking soda in there. It would have given it a nice texture, but I like this. I like that brown color that it's given off. Also, in the comments, tell me what color do you think I should spray the tops, the covers? What color should I spray the covers? I'm thinking gold. Thinking gold would be nice. You said that you didn't hit the ground running. Uh, regarding work and other areas. Was this supposed to be a and a I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Did you think you put your energy in other things like home projects? Yeah. So if anything, I've always loved home decor. And as you guys can see, I think that what we've done back here is probably, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You got to tell me, Craig. Do you feel like my energy in home decor has gone up a little bit more? Yeah, I think so too. Um, I don't I don't buy things as much. I buy things, but I buy like cheap things and paint them. I do a lot of this stuff. I do a lot of this stuff now. So if you come in my house, you're gonna see a lot of things that have just been painted randomly or created. My dad, um, my dad always says that he's MacGyver. He knows how to MacGyver things. So I feel like I, I do that a lot more now. I do that a lot more now. Um, look at that. I like that. I like that. It's giving me that rustic look that I want. There's some areas up here that didn't fully dry. So, you know, if anything, if you guys decide to do something like this, I don't think you guys are. If you want me to, you can pay me. <laughs> But um, I was just let it dry a little bit longer. I'm just trying to dry it so that this video isn't too long. Where are we at now? 23 minutes? Oh, no. Oh, no. I did not want this to be so long. But, yeah. So, this. When I was saying to Craig, hey, I do so. I want to put some type of content out there. I want to put videos out there. I was like, well, maybe I could do what I what I do. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Under regular, um, I could paint. And he was like, yeah, just talk and paint, talk and paint. So maybe that's what this is going to be. But please, guys, don't judge me if it's not as professional as you thought it should be. Because that's not what we're going for, okay? We're going for DIY. Do it yourself. All right. Oh, wait, no, no. So for some people, you might just like it like this and you can leave it like this. And I'm, kudos to you if you do, right? I, I love it like this. I'm just trying to cover up some of these areas up here. That, and just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Right? That, that's what I like about DIYs, especially when we're talking about like rustic, modern DIYs. When you're trying to replicate, what is this? Like a, a clay, like clay type Um Objects doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Some of these, I may not do this color, add the brown. I might leave it at the other color and add some of the metallic on it as is. I don't know how this metallic is gonna be. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm a little bit scared. A little bit scared. You see me looking off to the side. I'm just looking at my other, um, Christmas ornaments that I bought. Make sure I'm not straying too far away. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't wanna go too long here. And I feel like I already have. 
Let's just swipe this and see how it comes out. Let's just swipe this and see how it comes out. You ready? I don't want it um like all in one area, so I need to spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Ah, oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Is it coming off on camera? Yeah. Wow. I think that's pretty. I think that's so pretty, guys. I think that's so pretty. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. This is gonna. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Y'all see, I just went crazy. Don't don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Don't do what I just did. This is pretty. Oh my goodness. So nice, rustic, bronze ornament. If you're trying to go, let me tell you something. I was looking for neutral. That's why I put in neutral ornaments. Y'all don't want to know the prices I saw come up. So this is why I said, listen, if you can, Jamaican said, take your hand and turn fashion. Take your hands and turn it into fashion. So that's what I encourage you guys to do. Take your hands, turn it into fashion. Look at that. Look at that. All right, y'all. So, just to finish up the conversation, I'm excited for the next year that's coming. Thank God that he kept me throughout this year. I thank God that despite all the medical emergencies that we encountered um, after surgery, during the miscarriage, the unexplainable things that the doctors couldn't understand, um, I thank God that he kept me, that I'm in my right mind, in my right mind, um, Craig's in his right mind, that we didn't lose ourselves in the midst of all of this. And for those of you that started watching this channel because of that type of content, or if you're experiencing that, just pray for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh my God, you see this, y'all? All right, that's what we want. Um, I pray that God will continue to keep you, that he would cover you that he would make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. That's the prayer that Craig and I pray every morning, ever since we've been recording, um, that we prayed every morning. We pray every morning over ourselves, over our family. And so that's a prayer I pray for you. If you're going through a challenging time and you're not sure how you're gonna heal or come out of it, I'm here as a living testimony to tell you that he's able. He's able, he's able to heal the brokenhearted. He's able to heal you from any sickness. And not only does he heal, but he makes you whole. So I know this was very different. I hope it was common. I hope it was encouraging. I don't know what it does for you, but I did just wanna say thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Thank you guys for being with me through this journey one year um the guy has brought us this far and i know he will continue on anyways continue to like subscribe and share for more content i promise you guys that we're going to have more discussions more guests to bring discussions um our anniversary is coming up november 1st so the anniversary of the miscarriage but also our anniversary so we're going to celebrate then as you know the holidays i'm going to take you along for that but until next time guys be blessed have a great day bye